Hello, hi, and welcome to the next video in our Unity series. Today we're going to look at um, materials. There is two different types, two different types of materials. There are materials that will just change the look of our three-dimensional components. Every three-dimensional component that has um, a renderer on it also has a material on it. If you create a new component like we did with our plane and the player in earlier tutorials, uh, they will get the default material, that grayish looking th thingamabob there, that stuff, right? And that's the first type of material. We're going to look at that first. So I've got uh, these two components. I've got the player and I've got the plane. I want to, which is like our field that we can walk around. Nothing much changes right now. So yeah, um, the field itself should be like a layer of grass or maybe stone or something along those lines. You can do whatever you want with those by adding different materials on it. You can open and close the material. I've got the plane now selected, opening and closing the material here. And uh, you see, I cannot change anything because that is the default material. To change something, I will have to change that material to a not default one, to a new one. Therefore, we can go here in our assets down there, right click, boop, <laughs> create a new material. Where, where are you there? There's material and later in the video, we're going to also talk about physics materials, but we want to create a material. Let's call that floor. Right. And the floor material is now also this gray thing. In the material properties, now that I have it selected here in my assets, I can now change the albedo, which is the color. Right. I have a color picker here. I can, for example, if I wanted a gray, a greenish, like a ground, like a grass structure thing, uh, I will select green. Um, and that's it. All that's now nothing has changed. All that's left to do is grab the floor, drag and drop that on our uh, plane here. And now we've got this nice looking grassy plane. If I click on it, you see the material is now embedded into the um into the game object. And I can also ch still change around the color here. And you see it's directly adapting the color as we go. There's different rendering modes, right? There's different shaders. We're not going to talk about shaders here. Shaders, that's far advanced. That's more advanced stuff. We're staying with the standard shader for now. But there's different rendering modes. There's opaque, and that is just the solid material. There's a cutout which could be if the material we have here would be uh would have any cutouts like um a png can have cutouts right it can just have transparent uh parts then we could not see those transparent cuts we would get the cutout which i don't have in that case and uh, then we have a fading material where we can depending on the color we choose we have the alpha value right if i Go down with the alpha value, the material becomes see-through, right? Until if the alpha value is zero, the material is completely invisible. So everything from invisible to completely opaque is possible. That's with fade. And then we have the last, which is transparent, which is the most suited for like glass or liquids, uh, where we have a similar behavior as fade, but we don't go to exactly zero. It's like we still have this glassy looking plane uh, in the end, right? and that's this one here. So for our ground, I don't want any of this. I just want an opaque uh, with also where the shadow gets nicely displayed and stuff. For the transparent one, well, you don't really have shadows on it for the fade as well. <clears throat> so there's more parameters here. There's a metallic behavior which makes it reflective, right? That, that basically is the reflection. If we look at this, where we can also see the light source here, if I make it way more, right? if I make the metallic way higher, you see the reflection is just becoming more um, direct, let's say direct. And that is more spread. So I want something in between. Um, the smoothness just makes it like really smooth. If you have it to 100%, you see it's like a mirror, right? like it's like a mirror, like 100% reflection on the spot, 100% smooth, nothing gets um, dispersed in the material. To make it less, 
you will have zero smoothness is no reflection at all. Let's make something in between where we can see a bit of a reflection of the sun here. A metallic alpha albedo alpha uh, just changes the uh, the behavior of those gra those bars. Let's not touch those. There's different maps here that I will explain in a second. There is also this emission. That one is also important right now. Emission, and you can turn on the emission on a certain color. Right? If you turn on emission at a certain color, the material will start to glow. Right, it will have this nice glow, which makes sense for things you can pick up, things you want to really point out that should stand out, stick out in your program. That is the uh, emission, which I don't want for the ground. That doesn't make much sense. And then there's more settings down here, a bit more advanced, not going into those right now. That's the first component for our floor, which is now a grassy little floor there. The second material for the character, let's create a new material. Uh, material which is the uh, let's say player zero zero because I want to have different materials for this what you can do with materials is the following I will leave a link in the description to a website that I like to use you can download a lot of materials from the internet like you can have pictures you can have basically whatever you want JPEG PNG whatever you want uh, I will leave a link to this website, which has a lot of um, very, very nice and high resolution materials that we can select. I can just select and then download here whatever uh, resolution you want. The higher the resolution, of course, the nicer it looks, but also the bigger the size. So, yeah, uh, it's free. You can download here. There's uh, no there's no licensing on it. So it's pretty nice. I love the website. I'll leave a comment in the description. Uh, I leave a link in the description. When you download it, you will have a zip archive or a raw archive that you have to open up and there's different material um, files in there, right? That you just have to import to your game that you can do by just dragging and dropping. Let's make a new folder here. Create a folder with player zero zero material. Right, I will just drag that in here and let's choose one of the three I have for example I like this one here which is a cushion it looks like a cushion let's drop that into the folder whoops let's drop that into the folder just drag and drop and now it is in the folder right I have other materials that but I don't want to change that right now now the player material should go on the player just drag and drop that onto the player and now we do not choose the color picker here or anything there are different materials there are different files depending on what you download usually you have like a color if it says color that's usually the one that you want to drag and drop just take the color here drag and drop that onto the albedo boom and that is the color of the that is the structure that is just the material yeah there's more in here uh, depending on the material you get they they're quite different the naming is sometimes quite different but that's always standardized color is always going in albedo and there's the normal map this one here that looks bluish that goes to the normal map the normal map is quite important you saw the difference now it looks really nice uh, the normal map has to do with like what sticks out a little bit like the 3d behavior of it that's the normal map sometimes you have to click on fix now uh, which makes some difference but not much uh, i think the last one here i'm going to take is the roughness the roughness is the whoops. Um, the roughness is the metallicness, right? I can just change. The, yeah, I don't want it too metallic. It's kind of a cushion. There we go. That is the material here. There's more to it, but those. This is enough for the basics. Look at our player. We've got a nice little character. By the way, that sun icon here is way too big. Go to gizmos, make it smaller, and now it's not sticking out too much. Okay. That's the first type of material. Now it looks nicer. Maybe let's uh, let's give the ground also a better material. Let's go back to the folder here. Let's create a new folder that is floor material. There's going to be more to it. I just drag and drop that in here. And I've got downloaded as a test here as well, or as a, an example, some kind like a check checkerboard. So let's import that to our project. And let's get the floor here, drag and drop the color onto the albedo, boom, done. Let's make that maybe white, so it looks nice. Uh, let's take the normal map at least and done. 
Now we've got this nice little field here. It looks quite dark right now. But I like it. That's just whatever you like. So next, we that was 10 minutes. I still have five. Give me five more minutes. <laughs> five minutes um, for the next type of material. When we play the game here, right? now it looks a little bit nicer. We've got this checkerboard. We've got the character. It just drops down. The second type of material is the so-called physics material. If I go to my plane, right? the plane itself has the mesh collider and the collider can have here a so-called physics material or physics material. Right? None, it's empty right now. I will have to create a new one. So right click in our assets, create a new physics material. Let's create that, let's call that floor. <clears throat> And we can just simply drag and drop that on the floor to link it. And now the floor, you see it here, it has the uh, physics material connected. You can also drag and drop that on here, or you can use the picker, component picker. Yes. Um, that did already change something, but we won't really realize it. It changed the friction. Now the ground here has friction. If we want to push something on it or something rolls on it, it would now react with friction, so it would slow down, right? which it would not have before. <laughs> um, so we can make the friction higher or lower. That's just friction, right? Dynamic friction. If something moves along it, it gets slowed down. Static friction. How strong is it sitting there? If you tilt the plane, when will things start dropping? Right? That's the static friction. <clears throat> or if something tries to push something that is standing still, how much force do it, does it need to push it? <clears throat> Then we've got those two down here, friction combine and bounce combine. Those two are used when both components have a physics material. Right now our player does not have a physics material, so it doesn't make sense. If we take average, it averages out between both physics materials. Also, if the other component does not have a physics material, it, uh, it takes that as a zero. So what we want to do with the bounciness of the floor is we want to take the maximum friction and maximum bounce so that the floor is the more is the important part or the the one that has more friction right now. So nothing has changed yet. If I press play, you will see nothing has changed. It's still exactly the same. What I want to change now is I want to give it a little bit of a bounciness. If I say bounciness 0.5, you will see when I press play that the player actually bounces like like on a bouncy, bouncy castle thingy. Like boink, boink. Do you see it? Just a little bit. If I take the player and lift it up, let it drop. You see, now it's got this nice little bounciness. And that is because we added the physics material property bounciness to the floor. Right? I can also increase that to up to one. One means that it bounces 100%. So if I lift the player up here, it will bounce exactly as high as from where it came. Now that it's physics calculation, you see it also, because we have this capsule, it also bounces a bit left and right here. It gets off center. That's how physics work, right? Nothing is exactly centered here. I don't want it to bounce 100%. Let's, let's make it maybe 0 0.5 for later on so that we will have a floor that is kind of bouncy. We will have different floors. Some are bouncy, some are not bouncy, some are uh, some have some friction, some don't. Just like a platformer here, right? We will make use of that. So that was the introduction to materials, right? Materials, where we looked at normal materials that just change the looks of a component and uh, of a game object, and the second, the physics material, where you can make it bouncy or friction or get up with the friction. So 14 minutes, perfect in time. I love making those videos. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, leave a like. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to have a nice day. Do not forget to stay safe and healthy out there. And uh, do not forget about the next video that's coming up quite soon. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Wait, where's my stop button? There. Okay.